Hello everyone and welcome back to another Figurehead Reviews video and today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Black Panther Okoye Build-A-Figure Wave Black Panther. This is the MCU Black Panther from the Black Panther movie. Here we have him displayed in the front window box with the Black, Black Panther logo down there at the bottom. We get another logo here at the top. We get some cool artwork on the side. It is the same on both sides. And then we get a product shot as well as all the other figures needed in this wave to build the Okoye Build-A-Figure. And at the top we have the read-up. A warrior and defender of Wakanda, T'Challa is the hero of legend, Black Panther. And down here at the bottom we do have a UPC code, so you can check with your local retailer to see if they have this in stock. But enough about that, let's get this open and take a look at T'Challa the Black Panther. And here is the Black Panther outside of the packaging. And I was very happy to see that we don't just get a repaint or a reused Civil War Black Panther. We actually do get a updated body mold and some updated uh, sculpt work on this figure. So very happy to see that we don't just get a repeat character uh, completely, uh, that they did actually make an effort to do something different. Uh, he does come with a few accessories. He's got the unmasked alternate head, head, and then he does have some fisted hands. So we're going to jump in with a better look on his accessories, and then we're going to get a better look at the Black Panther himself. And T'Challa does come with an alternate head for Chadwick Boseman, which we're going to go ahead and look at actually when we look at the figure a little bit more closely. Uh, so that just leaves us with a pair of fisted hands that come with the figure. And uh, getting a, a better look here, not too crazy, but you actually do have some sculpt work in there. Well, it looks like there's a little bit of plastic flashing left on there, uh, but very cool. So you do get the two fisted hands, and then in the packaging, he does come with the claw hands. And uh, much like any Marvel Legends figure, you just pop it off, take the hand that you want to put on, and... There you go, and you got a fisted hand, and uh, and then his clawed hand, which uh, is pretty cool too up close. You can see some of the detail that they put into that glove uh, on there as well, so very cool. But let's go ahead and get a better look now at Black Panther. And getting in up close here on this Black Panther mask, very cool, well done. You can see a lot of detailing put into some of those lines there. Uh, same thing like when you look at the top of his head, very neat looking uh, as far as getting some of those smaller details. Uh, the line work on the paint's not too bad, the eyes look good, the silver around it looks good, and uh, yeah, they actually did a decent job there on the paint, uh, but the ears and just some of that line work on those really uh, detailed inner pieces uh, look awesome. And of course, to switch out the head, just like with any Marvel Legends, you just pop it off. And then, in this case, we're going to take Chadwick Boseman's head and just pop that on there. Oh. There we go. All right. And taking a look at the Chadwick Boseman head and... This new digital technology, the scan technology that they use is very cool. Uh, when you get in up close like this, you can see that uh, dot printing that I've talked about before. When you get in really close to the eyes and stuff like that, you can see just how uh, it utilizes those finer details to get a really good looking fade on things. You know, from a distance, it looks good. Uh, but when you're up close, the eyes don't look great, and the beard, like I said, you can see all the dots and everything. Uh, look at this hairline, you can see it. But the sculpt itself looks very good, and uh, in all honesty, uh, the only thing I think uh, is a little off with this is the skin tone. Uh, Chadwick is a, a little bit of a darker uh, skinned, uh, I was going to say character, but obviously uh, he's a, a real man. So he's a darker skinned individual though, and uh, he looks a little light skinned here. Um, but uh, otherwise the sculpt looks great. And uh, that digital scanning they use, I mean, it, it definitely looks like him. So very cool. Going down the rest of the characters. So you do have that necklace there with the, uh, the teeth on it, or the fangs, looks good. And then the design of the figure, the suit, looks good. You get some of those, again, individual sculpting details. 
similar to what we saw on the mask on the back side and he's got some silver highlights here and it looks like a little bit on the wrist on the waist and then not a whole lot going back down until you get some silver highlights again there on the boots and on the feet so yeah not a bad looking figure for sure uh, definitely an upgrade from the Civil War one but let's go ahead now and take a look at the articulation and scale and taking a look at the scale here Black Panther is coming in at about six and a quarter inches tall so he is uh, just in line with all the normal Marvel Legends so we do have a head that can spin all the way around can look down pretty far can look up very far as well you do have arms that can come up to pretty high uh, T-pose there. You do have the butterfly joint in the shoulder, which gets you a pretty decent reach backwards and forwards. And of course, he does have rotation at the shoulder. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, a hinge and rotation at the wrist. He's got an ab crunch that can go back that far, can go forward that far. He has a very clicky waist rotation. He has legs that can go apart, eh, not too bad kicks forward pretty far kicks backwards a eh, little yeah no not bad i wasn't sure if it was flaring out too far but not bad he does have a upper thigh cut double jointed knees a nope no boot rotation then he has a hinge and pivot at the ankles and for a quick comparison here is everybody standing together we have the comic characters iron man namor the submariner and black bolt and then the mcu characters black panther killmonger nikia and okoye so that about does it for this review everyone and uh, overall yeah very cool figure uh, definitely a prominent figure in the mcu going forward here so uh, I think it's worth picking up. It is, in my opinion, a better figure than the Civil War one. Uh, the articulation is better. The sculpt work definitely looks great on him. Uh, so very much worth picking up. Uh, but anyway, as I mentioned, that is it for this review, guys. If you liked the review, please make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content just like that. But as always, thank you for watching my video, and have a great day.